The cold pan should be turned on in the cold wall prep tables approximately 45 minutes to an hour before you're going to load the product. That ensures that the cold well is saturated with uh, refrigerant and it allows the cold, cold to maintain the proper cold when you insert the pans. The temperature of the pan opening can vary. Uh, typically it could be anywhere from the single digits all the way up until the high 20s. It really depends on your environment. Uh, and that's why we have that flexibility in there so you can adjust that to the proper temperature to satisfy the temperature that you're looking for in your pans. Uh, what we do recommend though is only making adjustments of two degree increments at a time. That way it helps you uh, dial in uh, faster to the proper temperature setting for your environment. The pan opening should be turned off uh, each night. Uh, so that allows for you to fully clean and sanitize the rail through the standard uh, drain in the pan, pan opening. So uh, that ensures that everything's cleaned and sanitized and then uh, it, you can just leave the lid open and allow that to air dry overnight. The pan openings all come standard with adapter bars and the adapter bars that come standard in the pan openings will allow you to put any combination of fractional pans into the pan opening. So really you should never need to add any additional adapter bars for the pan opening itself. Uh, no, we uh, have all three of these items designed so you can remove, fully remove them without tools. Uh, that makes it much easier for anyone to do that at any time without having to track down any tools to do it. So the drawer cartridges, they're removed with some uh, simple pins on the cartridge itself as well as some thumb screws. And then on the covers, they're re either removable uh, just by lifting them off or uh, using those same thumb screw assemblies that we use in the drawer cartridges. And then on the gaskets that exist on the doors and the drawers, those are both uh, press fit and they're removable without tools, but more importantly, they're able to be reinstalled into the door or drawer without tools as well. The pan openings will accept a six inch deep, up to a six inch deep pan. And the drawers uh, are a combination uh, depending on model, but typically a double tier set of drawers will take a six inch deep pan and a triple tier set of drawers will take up to a four inch deep set of pans. Using cold wall in lieu of forced air is absolutely a must in certain situations. Uh, three of those specifically are uh, high, high heat environments, so right on the cook line adjacent to high heat producing equipment. Uh, secondly, uh, very, very messy operations. Uh, pizza operations tend to be uh, pretty messy because they're moving pretty quickly. Uh, as well as uh, breading operations where, where you're uh, breading chicken or is breading anything in general, I guess. And uh, third, the, when you want to operate the prep table without a cover in place. So that could be either with lift off covers so you, because you have a pass over counter or uh, your front of the house uh, so your customers can see your product. So uh, 
When you have no cover in place, uh, we definitely recommend using a cold wall uh, just to ensure safe temperature holding.